What's going on, mainstream media? I got a little coffee talk. I watched the trial. Not every second of it, but I did watch every second of Johnny's testimony and Amber's testimony, as many others of us have done. I'm guessing mainstream media didn't because they're like, oh, it's a circus. You're airing all your dirty laundry. This is all misogyny. What? Did you watch it? No, you obviously did not. Oh, it's all TikTok's fault and YouTube's fault. Listen, if you were watching it, the moment that TikTok started making TikToks of Amber was actually a beautiful thing. Many of us went into this not knowing anything, not knowing who the hell Amber Heard was, believing that, you know, Johnny did some bad stuff because that's what we heard and he got dropped and all that stuff. This was a chance for Johnny to tell his story. And if you watched his testimony, you felt it. Anyone that's been through any kind of DV situation felt it. If you hear any comments of someone that's been through a DV relationship, they that's who you should be listening to. Then you hear Amber. And it, it was funny. It was funny because it was so awful. She's using real DV victims to create some kind of platform because she feels like she can do anything she wants and get away with anything she wants. Again, if you watched the trial, just even just Johnny and Amber, that's a few hours. If you binge watch TV shows, blah, 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 you have time to watch this, there's no excuse. And I see people on there, oh, I didn't even watch the trial, I didn't need to. Do you give a review of a movie that you didn't watch? Do you just review the, the, the trailer? That's not how this works. Watch it. And then, then, then you can talk about it. I, I don't know what's going on with all these articles. Uh, some people have some ideas. It's mainstream media, folks. Uh, you have to do your own research, okay? You, you have to do your own research. And there's so much, we have the internet these days, so you actually can. Um, YouTube was covering it live, and uh, it, was, it was great. Um, and the moment that the TikToks came out was actually an amazing moment where we all felt like the whole world was united against Amber because she's a liar, not because she's a victim. She's not a victim. She's a liar. And it's obvious if you watched it. And those TikToks were therapeutic because it's a very, very serious thing that she's doing. And to be able to laugh about it was very, very, very therapeutic because it, watching this trial for those of us that did was very a very emotional journey. So, and the Me Too movement was very important. Uh, I never really knew about this Believe All Women. That one, that one's not, not, uh, women are not the only victims of domestic abuse. They're more likely, statistically, but they're not the only ones. And I don't think, in my opinion, this did not mess up Me Too at all. This is helping Me Too. This is an extension of Me Too. It's called Men Too, okay? I guess that's all I have to say. Um, 
for now. All right. And you're also blaming the jury? <laughs> really? Those, those people that sacrificed their life and listened to everything and sat there and made the right decision, you're like, oh, well, they were on TikTok. Guess who brought up the hashtags in the trial? Amber side. They were like, did you ever hear of Justice for Johnny? Did you ever hear of Amber Turd? Are you serious? You're the ones that introduced it. So don't try to say it's TikTok and it's YouTube. No, 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 no. Elaine, I thought I liked you because I, I thought you just have a really hard case and you were kind of goofy and funny. And I'm like, maybe she's really awesome outside of this case. And then she goes on and I'm like, oh, I guess she's a pathologist logical liar too so this is this case does not set set back domestic violence victims this moves it forward because it's not black and white it's not all women all men it, like are we children the, there's that's why we have court cases to work out the gray areas to look at the evidence and you, you did you see the evidence Pictures of Johnny sleeping? Oh, he's so violent. That, you know, it's, it's, mm, I'm going to stop now, I think. But I just had to vent. Amber is a liar. Watch it for yourself, okay? It's, 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 it's not that complicated to see. So, have a great day. Do your own research. If you, if you watch her and you're like, wow, she's such a liar and you're having a hard time dealing with it, watch the TikToks. They're very enjoyable, therapeutic. It's good to laugh when it's such a serious thing. And this is very serious. Women accusing men when it's not true is very serious. And it's nothing new, as many of us know. So... Can we stop with the believe all women and go like innocent until proven guilty? Let's look at the evidence. That's the lesson we're supposed to learn here. So mainstream media, I am so disappointed. So disappointed. I mean, I'm not really surprised, but I am a little bit. So I'm done with you. Everybody just go on YouTube. Um, do your own research. And, um, stop with the, stop with the BS, okay? All right, I gotta go. Mwah.